The beautiful but slow walking tank, Cychania. Powerful, yes. Invincible, far from. In a herd, it's untouchable. Solo is a whole nother story. For players can pick you apart and slowly take their time. But with some awareness, the right position, and a decent talent build, you are a force to be reckoned with. But on the official servers, carnivores are the least of your problems. This is a world full of some of the most bloodthirsty players you'll ever come across. And let's not forget about the weather, for that'll kill you also. And you better pray God has mercy if you get sickness. Beast of Bermuda is unique with its infinite growth, and this can leave you very attached to your dinosaur. But the bigger you grow, the harder it gets. But long before we can become a 2.2 herbivore, first, we must go back to the very beginning, where life will do more than just fight to survive. It will do what it has to just to stay alive that little bit longer. So we found some water, it's drinkable, and nice, it's still safe to drink. Perfect. I don't even know if I'm gonna record on this thing, I'm just growing this thing for a bit of fun. A bit like my secret project. See how big I can get it. I had my first taste of fresh water, and after that I made my way down to the coast to get some salt. Because I was playing a herbivore, I decided there would be no KOSing on my part. It would be completely unnecessary, for I'd have to defend myself against multiple opponents anyway. It's a big rex. It's a huge rex. A pair of rexes had picked up my scent, and they were moving in with the intent to kill. I positioned myself on the edge of this cliff, giving them only limited options on how to bring the fight to me. Yeah. They sat, they waited, and with each other they contemplated. <laughs> They're like, uh, can we do that? Can we not? Trying to find the best spot I could on the side of these rocks. I overstepped and slipped. <laughs> Come to me now. Now I really got the spot. But this was a confident Rex. He kept coming down the mountain, one step in front of the other. Definitely got a good spot here. Oh, he's risking it. He's going for it. Let's see, he's a brave Rex. He's huge though, I'm pretty small. Oh, he's going for it. His bites were accurate, but the final one hit the shield reflect and must have hurt a lot. But he landed a lot of damage, leaving me just under half HP. Oh, damn. We were both trapped on the side of this mountain just out of reach of each other. <laughs> he did a lot of damage. That's how big he is. For the set of circumstances that we both found ourselves in, we took a moment to begin the recovery process. But meanwhile, on the side of that cliff, I upgraded my talent tree. <laughs> Oh, we're both in a pretty trap spot. The Rex may have been getting a little desperate. Perhaps he was hungry. He made his way down the cliff towards the spawn core. Got him. The Tyrannosaurus played well, but unfortunately he died on the side of that mountain. What I'll do is slowly heal up. But he still had a partner, and I was trapped at a dangerous elevation. i rest for now. <laughs> Give him a one go. Broadcast. He was brave. He was definitely a brave Rex, or like, overconfident anyway, coming down the side of a cliff. Rexes though do well full damage. I laid there in the light rain, slowly healing up, watching the other Rex attempt to climb the mountain, to no avail. I don't think that's really possible. Unwilling to wait on the weather, it was now time to do some rock climbing. Yeah. Yeah, that ain't good. Uh-oh. Oh no. Not like this. And when I say I'm not willing to wait on the weather, what I mean is... Oh my god. If I just bounce down... I'm not willing to log out and wait for a storm. That's gonna rise the ocean high enough for me to swim to safety. I'm alright. Finally, after a long battle and climbing down the side of this mountain, I'd successfully made it to a safe area. I actually survived and killed one of those goddamn rexes. I crossed over a small estuary, up the sandy beach, consuming salt, making sure that my diet is perfectly balanced. A Tyrannodon hovered no more than a few feet above me carrying a piece of fish, and that's when I turned around to look behind me. 
See, in this game, you have the ability to resurrect dead dinosaurs by sacrificing others. These could quite possibly be the same Rexes. But regardless, I would find myself in an all-familiar situation. On the side of a cliff, facing off with a pair of adult Tyrannosaurus. Continuing my best to simply exist. I wonder if this is the same Rexes. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. The road to 2.2 plus growth as a solo was no easy feat of strength. I had to overcome incredible odds and put in long hours of gameplay. So if you end up enjoying my story, please don't forget to give my video a like. I truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. It was completely broken and limping off, out of the fight. But that was only one Rex, and now he could safely heal. But dealing with the second one with just over half HP. Here we go. I advanced towards him. A lucky shield reflect and then I landed two solid hits. Did a 180 degree turn around and went on the offence. Losing my footing and slipping further down the side of the cliff into a sticky predicament. I need to heal up a bit. I need to play this a little safer. Here we go. Might be able to get out there. A Tyrannodon was broadcasting above the fight, looking to pick apart any scraps that would remain at the end. They go over this little bit, he's gonna hurt. He'll fall to his death. That's one. Pretty sure this is the same pair of Rexes. Pretty sure. Oh, he's coming. He may he's gonna try to. Here we go. He's gonna be trying to. He's the speed one, I'm pretty sure. I sniffed him to see what colour he'd highlight up to check his build, but he was in crouch, so I was unable. Still on the side of the mountain, I was sitting there healing up. When a pack of Vihenvenators had rocked up, they must have heard the commotion in the distance and came in for an easy meal. But these players were not hunting for food, they were simply killing anything on sight given any opportunity. I should have stayed exactly where I was, because that full damage near killed me. Need to save some power. I need to get in that cave. I'll be safe in there. The cave is a refuge. I finally had the time to sit down and heal. But eventually I'd have to leave it much sooner than I would have preferred. Finally. 
No, it's still relatively safe to drink. After finding some acceptable water, I could finally hydrate, because I was thirsty. I began to traverse the map, but to the side of me I could hear heavy footsteps. It was a solo Rex, decent in size, but surely no real threat. But when I went to hit him in the ankles, they did not register. I think my internet connection was dying. I'm lagging a bit, I think. It's very unfortunate, but these things happen. I was lagging. I could feel After it. I'd been killed, I sacrificed a dead acro that I had previously to resurrect the Cychania. This time, with more experience, I was prepared to go back into the world. Resting on a rock, just being a herbivore, and that's when a Mega Raptor came up to me and simply committed himself to the afterlife. Well, that was a mistake, mate. I was making my way along the coastline, eating salt, and that's when I crossed paths with a sauropod. What are you doing, Apatosaurus? This young Apatosaurus was moving in on me. And he was not alone, there was another one on the other side of the beach. There you go, mate. Yeah. Speed build Apatosauruses are ridiculously op -ed. When they can back up faster than you can walk forwards and hit like a freight train, there's only so much that you can reflect. Oh, they're fast. I'm probably faster then. I'll fight them in the water. and it wouldn't be long before the bigger one would catch up. Most solo OG players build aquatic builds for the specific reason, and so I easily outswam these aggressive herbivores, leaving them behind me. Drink up. At 1.3 growth, I could still afford to sit around and grow. My food intake wasn't too bad at this time period, but now at 1.5 growth, the sheer amount of vegetation I would have to devour Drink it and carry it. would have a major impact on the way that I live life. I mean, you take a trinket. Cool. There would no longer be room to sit around growing. My days of AFK comfort were coming to an end. The detail in the swamp is phenomenal. It's actually, yeah, insane looking. There we go. Survival this one. Alright, let's hand this bad boy in. Get a blessing. Yes, please. I handed in a trinket and received a blessing. And before you know it, a heavy storm had invaded the map. I'm just keeping my eye on this water. Make sure it doesn't come too high. Because I'm pretty much at the highest ground I've got. Let's have another drink while I've got an opportunity. Man, it is actually so difficult to see in this. This rain is that heavy. It's awesome. Man, do I eat a crap ton. I'm just constantly walking, eating. I was simply enjoying some time to myself, just consuming all the vegetation and helping the ecosystem. i use the water. That'll be my best chance. But I heard of sauropods rolled up on me like a bunch of gangsters in the hood. Oh, they are as swimmers. So I dived into the shallow reef and swam to the bottom, camouflaging myself with the weeds. Best I can anyway. But these sauropods were so slow in the water, I even had time to troll them and move on. <laughs> now at 1.7 plus growth, I had no choice but to continue moving, forever eating all of the vegetation around me. literally just clear the forest as I walk now. I made my way through the desert to the next water source, but I drank from it and got poisoned. At first, I figured, how bad could it be? I was sick from drinking that crap. I needed to find charcoal to cure my sickness, but this can mainly be found after massive fires. And if there's been no fires, then you gotta randomly find it scattered throughout the map. I think there might be some charcoal up there. Yes, just a little bit. I don't know if that'll be enough. Luckily I found one small pile of charcoal. It probably helped me more than I remember. But being on a Cychania, and so slow as it is, it felt like I'd been sick forever. Much longer, huh? You know? <laughs> Doesn't even say. 
The sickness could be... Now I could feel the full effect of the illness starting to take hold. My food was starting to decrease rapidly. I can't keep up with food. And the sickness is like... Doing some serious damage. Still plenty of room on. Finally, after enough time, the sickness had dropped. No, that water's poisonous, baby. I'm not going to drink from that. I had to travel to the main river to get fresh water. Almost fully recovered. Almost fully recovered. That was so difficult. I got so close. I love the environment in this game. So many things that can lead to your death. It's great. <laughs> Eat the wrong thing, you're dead. Get caught off in the wrong weather, you're dead. Come across the wrong giant, you're dead. That sounds like an Apatosaurus up there. That's that's like my biggest fear. That that's what will probably kill me in the end. Will be an Apatosaurus that just chases me down and kills me. And we're almost to point out. We're getting there. <laughs> I was now well and truly on the way to becoming enormous, a 2.1 Cychania. I haven't done any KOSing on this thing. I've just been. And a big fat herbivore walking around. As I continued to wander the world, forever growing bigger. Like goddamn little mower for the entire forest. I truly started to feel the raw power that I possessed, but the fuel intake that it required to stay alive was insane. I ate every single fat plant I could, but in saying that, I made sure never to go overweight too much, because this Cychania was built into the speed tree. Scattered around the place. That's a huge acro. At 2.2 growth, life as I know it was about to change. A massive pack of Acrocanthosaurus was now moving in but would have to put in the hard work in order to feast on this thunderous night. I'm not risking buying with them. Whoa. <laughs> I'm probably gonna die. I made my peace with my Cychania and prepared it to meet Valhalla. Hey, all combat, or we got some speeds in there? This is gonna get very difficult. At this point in time, I only had two plans. To reposition myself to the best spot that I could, and to take someone's life with me. They are all 2.0. Like... Some of them are... Aquatic builds This acro tried to tank me, even with two intimidating roars. That ended up to be a mistake, but this fight was far from over. They still had great numbers, but worse, bleeding, and unable to recover my health pool without sitting down. The next acro stepped into the kill zone, and was in a prime position for me to intercept. Unable to use my shield reflect while in the water, this little bit of a rock made it hard to get onto the land. Therefore, I had to soak the bites. GG. <laughs> After successfully defending myself, I made my way back over to that rock to use it as security and slowly heal up. Some advice to newer players, if given the chance you should log out, of course depending on the server rules and come back when the coast is clear. I had plenty of time to log out, but for the purpose of my stories and entertainment, I stayed in the game and made sure it was a fair hunt for these acros.
<laughs> cool. That one's hurt. Unfortunately, this was the end of the road. I'd fully accepted the outcome and was at peace with it. It was a great achievement to reach 2.2. To the group of acros that killed me, GG. This is your boy, our time at the end of another epic tale. Signing out. They died at 2.24. That's cool.